Thank you so much for coming to my Catalyst conference and taking the time to learn about um, a subject, anorexia nervosa, that has been very prevalent, unfortunately, been very prevalent in my life. I have seen this disease affect many family and friends, and um, from the outside, you just want to do as much as you can for those people that are suffering because they have no control over their actions, they have no control over their emotions towards food or how it completely takes over their life. Um, so what I really want to do is I want to institute change. Um, I want to grow our, um, our empathy towards one another because in high school, that is something that really needs to change. We need to learn how to care for each other, to really be there for each other, which is something that my GOA um, class is really focused on, is how do we transition from sympathy to empathy? How do we care about each other and ask how we are and actually mean it? Because just that simple question to someone who's really struggling, that could mean a lot to them. Um, how do we educate our students? How do we educate our teachers on how to tell if someone's okay, how to tell if someone's struggling, even just from seeing them in class, from everyday life. That's where students, that's where children spend most of their times, um, is in school. Uh, their friends and teachers see a lot of them, sometimes a lot more um, during the week than their family does. So it's sometimes hard for a family member to tell if someone's struggling. It's really on the friends and the teachers, the people that see them the most, that spend the most time with them, that see them in class, that go up to lunch with them, that see their habits. Um, they can see if something's really changing within them. Um, so I really hope that the one thing you take away from this is that anorexia is a horrible disease that affects so many people, and not just girls, but also um, boys as well, men, women, everyone is affected. It's not just one gender, which is a stigma we also need to end, is that men can't suffer from this disease. And I'd like to take away from this that we can improve our lives, we can improve our, um, our presence in someone's life that's struggling, and that if you're a little bit more aware, if you're a little bit more empathetic, if you're a little bit more educated on mental health issues, you can help someone in need. Um, thank you so much for coming, and I really did hope, I really do hope that um, you took that away from my presentation. So thank you.